Hello, everyone, and thank you all so much for attending this talk, and a huge thank to Esri for inviting Africa CDC to share our work. I'm Stephanie Salyer, a technical advisor to the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and I support our event-based surveillance work as well as our One Health program. To give you all a bit of background on Africa CDC, for those who may not be aware, we are a specialized technical institution that was established in 2016 and officially launched in 2017. And we just celebrated our fourth anniversary. We're headquartered in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, but we also work um, through the five regional collaborating centers based in Nairobi, Lusaka, Libreville, Abuja, and Cairo. Africa CDC supports the public health initiatives of all 55 African Union member states and strengthens the capacity of their public health institutions to detect, prevent, control, and respond quickly and effectively to disease threats. As part of this mandate, our event-based surveillance team started monitoring the cases of unknown pneumonia being reported from China and neighboring countries early in January of 2020. As the SARS-CoV virus was identified and being reported from more and more countries, Africa CDC activated our emergency operations center and started holding weekly briefings with member states in late January to prepare for its impending arrival. On February 14th of 2020, the first case of COVID was reported on the continent from Cairo, Egypt. And shortly after, it was also reported in Algeria and Nigeria. To maintain situational awareness and inform response efforts um, and our member states of the progression of the virus on the continent, our EBS team started collecting verified reports of COVID-19 cases, deaths, and recoveries by member states. We shared and continue to share these information through daily, um, daily through various social media networks, as well as weekly through our outbreak briefs. About one year ago, Esri approached us about their online ArcGIS platform, and we were able to use this platform to develop a continental COVID-19 dashboard on our website to further visualize and disseminate information about the pandemic on the continent. We were able to update the dashboard with our data twice a day and use the Google Sheets feature, which makes maintaining the updates relatively easy. And recently, we've been able to revise the dashboard to include cumulative testing information as well. This dashboard is used widely by member states, partners, and the press. And we encourage all of you to visit our website to also check it out and play with the different features. Um, additionally, with the Esri online platform and training tools, um, back in October of 2020, we worked with both Esri and US CDC to provide GIS training and support to Africa CDC staff that were identified from each of our technical divisions. This training focused on the creation of maps, use of data collection tools like Survey123, and the development of dashboards for other response needs. To date, over 15 Africa CDC staff have received this training, and the products are now being used routinely in our EOC meetings, briefings and reports, to track deployments, as well as inform other response activities. So we're continuing to evolve um, using this platform and some of the new dashboards that are currently under development, um, as well as maps being produced, will be used to help track vaccination distribution and coverage across the AU member states, as well as our genomic survey, uh, surveillance and also to track the variants of concerns being reported from member states. And these new products should be available publicly within the coming weeks. So I would like to give a huge thank you to all of the Africa CDC staff, AU member states, ESRI, and US CDC staff that all contributed to this work that's coming out of Africa CDC. Thank you all. <laughs>